ATV related accidents in 2014, according to a report done by the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission. And with summer right around the corner, ATV season is starting to pick up. Local news aide Natalie Shaver went to the sand dunes in St. Anthony today. And Natalie, a park ranger told you they have about 20 life flights out of there every year, right? And on average, between two and four people die, and it's because of an ATV accident. Right, Carol. And some of those are avoidable, but some aren't. There's always a risk with any type of ATV riding. I mean, it is an extreme sport, but there are some things you can do to better protect yourself. Uh, we enjoy a good rush, obviously. Go fast, go hard, try not to get hurt. Trying not to get hurt. A big part of that is being prepared. For Levi and his group, having a way to communicate with each other is just as important as having protective gear. One guy we're riding with today broke his neck three months ago. He's back out here again today, but we were lucky. We could communicate when we were in the hills with him. We got a helicopter to him, got him, got him home, got him safe. You could just break down, maybe you don't even have a wreck. If your vehicle breaks down seven miles out on the west end of the dunes and you have no way of calling somebody, you're going to be in a, a pretty bad situation really quickly. Visibility issues cause most of the accidents at the St. Anthony sand dunes. Between the hours of about noon and three o'clock on a sunny day, the sun is directly above you and the, uh, the contour lines of the sand dunes basically blend together so you can't really see where you're going. It's, it's really hard to see. It's really bright and, and a really experienced rider can, can basically drive right off a dune because they couldn't see it at all. We put a lot of time, a lot of money and effort into having the, the right gear. Always wear a helmet. If you're under 18, you have to, but it doesn't matter. You should wear one anyways. You can see neck braces are a huge thing we love. Um, any body armor, always the right pants, gloves, eye protection, everything. I don't want to discourage anybody from riding out here. It's, it's a dangerous place, but if you take it seriously and you take the proper safety precautions, you can have a lot of fun out here. We do this for fun. We, we enjoy it with our families and our friends, and we invite more people to, to come out and learn. You know, if you've never been on an ATV or a motorcycle, uh, you know, find somebody that has and, and ask them. Another trip tip, try not to ride alone. If you do go out alone, make sure someone knows exactly where you will be. In the studio, I'm Natalie Shaver. Good tips, Natalie. Thank you. Uh, at the St. Anthony Sand Dunes, anybody under age 18 is required to wear a helmet, and every ATV needs to have a flag so it can be seen. But I like his, his idea yeah. of just everybody wear a helmet. You're smart, and Absolutely. you're over 18. You still, 